Let me go ahead and start introducing our, our panel members. Um, to my far left, I have Roberto Marinucci, Managing Director of Father Earth Spa. And next to me, Elena Bonfiglioli, Director of Corporate Responsibility at Microsoft. Uh, Bob Lee, on, on my far right, Communication Director for Great Place to Work, responsible for Europe, Middle East, and Asia. And Gilbert, if I got that pronounced right, Lenson, President of the Academy of Business in Society here. And where did uh, Antonio Edco? In fondo, uh, the, on the, my far left, Antonio Gavioso, who's from the Active Citizenship Network. I have a, a series of questions for each of them. Uh, I hope that all of you will be thinking of questions that you want uh, to ask them because we will open the floor up afterwards. And I will encourage each one of you to, to interrupt as you see fit. You can speak in Italian, you can speak in English, you can say what you want. And you know, I'll just begin though uh, with Roberto Marinucci. If you can explain to us what sustainable means to your company factor and why did you decide to join the Rewards Measurement? Thank you, and uh, good afternoon. Um, sustainability for Father over the years has uh, really become uh, part of the business model and really part of the way um, we work through the organization. And, and we do it for a number of reasons. Um, the first one is really, we thoroughly believe that uh, this is the right thing to do and by doing the right thing that will allow the company that I work for um, to really win in the long term. And the second thing is that uh, sustainability is becoming more and more an important element that is required by consumer and customers. And, and therefore, I believe that uh, if uh, companies don't get their act together on this area, will soon be past history. Really. And thirdly, it's about the organization. Um, I am uh, fortunate enough that uh, I have uh, a very young organization. I mean, we hire a lot of people straight from school, say from university, and uh, like uh, when you have kids at home, I mean, the first time it happened to me when I had kids at home going to school, they come back home, and because they have a higher level of educational environment, they decide how do you have to behave, which car you have to drive, that you have to recycle, and all those kind of things. When you hire young people, those, those people have high expectation of what you do. And they watch you uh, and push you in a certain direction. And I'm glad that these people, because they push me and I wanted to listen, and, and I think that over the years, these people will make a new change. So going for uh, taking um, sustainability is a great step towards building the right organization in terms of uh, meeting what the young uh, generation requires, creating also a better environment, and I think also creating a stronger pride in the company you do, because in all the project that we've done on the sustainability, really, I had, I mean, I can quote some examples where, you know, people came to me with tears in their eyes. I mean, we had, uh, for example, um, uh, for example, Father is based in Pescara, which is uh, smack in the middle of the Adriatic coast of Italy, or maybe more exotically the East Coast of Italy. And, uh, and we actually, uh, that uh, city we read, we really had the fortune to sponsor a major uh, redoing of uh, a, a huge park. Um, and, uh, and that had, you know, a pretty large attention from press. The father father was sponsoring the whole redoing and furnishing of this huge park. And, uh, and people that were working for father reading on the paper all the good things about father that was doing, they came to me and really with tears in their eyes. Uh, and I think having that kind of pride, that kind of commitment to the company, it's, I believe, it's going to be a, a competitive advantage. So we're actually doing it because it's right to, to do, it's right thing to do, it's, it's right for the customer, for and the organization, and, and ultimately it's, uh, it's something that, uh, that allows the company to win. Thank you, that, that's very interesting uh, about the park, and I want to hear more. I was talking with your colleagues about your electric bicycles, and it sounds like you've done so many wonderful things at your company, so hopefully we'll get to some, hear some more of that.
I have lots more questions. Um, I also want to open it up to your questions. I hope you're uh, thinking of questions. And I also want to welcome EU Commissioner Tajani that will have speak in just a few minutes, more minutes after some questions. I have one last question uh, for Roberto Marinucci, anche perché the commissioner is here now. Um, which is you as the, the managing director of a company uh, that, that has in, in started using these methods. Um, does that give you a competitive advantage and how do you think institutions such as the European Parliament can help companies like yours to move into a direction of greater sustainability? Um, yes, I think we decided uh, to join Reward. And for us, uh, it, it was really um, a means to an end. And I want to take, you know, um, I think build on some of the comments um, made before on, on, on what companies should do on sustainability and, and maybe uh, make a couple of quick comments uh, for further because for me sustainability starts from the intent. And the intent has to be, um, I mean, before the Vice President Pinella said, it's all about giving the earth to the next generation. For the company, it's the same thing. He said, give the companies to the next generation. Um, and, and that means that at the, my end of the, or my tenure as head of the company, I need to give the company that is in better shape because the profits are in better shape, of course. But I need also to give a company to my successor that is providing, that is using less resources, that is leaving the environment in better shape than when I got it in, and the organization in a, in a better shape than when I got it in. And, and what we exemplified that in other kind of four quick um, directions or pillars that really show the intent. Because if you really show the intent, then the people, the employees, will actually really and follow. The first one is really um, sustainability. You do sustainability because uh, it's good for the environment and it's good also for cost savings. Because, for example, we have redesigned completely all our logistic system. In doing that, we have saved uh, quite a lot of money because we were able to use better our lorries, our transportation system. And by doing that, we really took out of the road 7,000 lorries, trucks. Uh, this is an example of, you know, we redesigned that. But we didn't do just cost savings because people are cynical about that and say, well, you really do sustainability because of cost savings. So when I say intent, you have to show that you do sustainability in all possible areas within the organization and within the business. So we took the other three areas. Um, the second is, for example, the sustainability on, um, on products. We have uh, redesigned completely our products in the last uh, 10 years, for example. We have uh, uh, reduced the materials in the product by nearly 50%. I mean, we sell bumpers, you know, that very nappy, and uh, we have reduced the weight by nearly 50%. We have reduced the packaging by nearly 60 plus percent. But we didn't save. I mean, the products to make are not cheaper, are actually as expensive as 10 years ago, but they are better products. Because by using less material, we will use better quality material and we will create better products and satisfy more our consumers. Um, the third thing is, uh, is all about the, it's about the organization. You have to do sustainability for the organization. Um, for example, um, yeah. uh, we are lucky to be in Pescara. It's, it's a place by the beach. It's all flat. You can cycle. And uh, we have offered to our people the possibility to buy electric bicycles uh, at a huge discounted price, where the company actually we pay for about two thirds of the cost of the bicycle, and we had about 50% of the people actually buying this bicycle and using it uh, to come to the office. Uh, now we have not done the calculation of how much uh, CO2 we have saved, but it's a lot of CO2 that we saved, taking out some nearly 300 cars from the road. Um, and lastly, it's about the environment in which we live. I mean, you I mentioned before that we redeemed the refurbished the park. We have, for example, financed the, the um, bicycles path in Pescara, including the bits that get to our office and our plant. And, um, and clearly, that was encouraging to the community and for our people to use the bicycles. And likewise, in our plant, for example, we have 
brought our industrial waste to zero. We have no waste from our plant. Our plant is one of the biggest in Europe in this time. And uh, last year, our biggest waste were the coffee cups. And, and we work on those, by the way. Um, so when we do these things, people believe that we are serious about it. You are not trying to you know, paint green on what you do. You are not trying to save all the money. <coughs> so when you get on why you um, want to do a reward, and why you got involved in the reward, because we found um, as a, I think, a way to uh, measure in an objective way, you know, the kind of level in which you reach uh, within the sustainability spectrum. You know, how high you are, and, and importantly, what you have to do to improve. And actually participating to the questionnaire, being the, you know, being the first uh, and uh, the victims, uh, in a sense. Um, we were really able to get a lot of learning, and which we are applying how to better. Well, it definitely sounds like a great place to work, and maybe I'll ask you for a job once we, <laughs> once we get through here today. <laughs>